Here's a new free AI tool to solve 1000 of your problems. You've been watching this channel a lot. You've seen all the AI tools we've already shown on this channel. There have been AI tools for text. There have been AI tools for video. So there are a lot of AI tools out there, but there is a new one that you've been waiting for. Even if you have been into AI tools a lot, this changes everything. It's a new AI tool where people for the first time really get a grasp to where we are really going to with artificial intelligence. It's been all over the media. There are tons of videos already out there on it. And maybe you've seen some of those videos, but you've thought, ah, it's too complex. I don't want to use it. I don't want to try it out. The good thing is we've been experimenting with it a lot already. Come with me. Let's dive into it and let's take a look at this new amazing AI tool. Using ChatGPT is actually really simple. You go to openai.com, you scroll down and here you see ChatGPT. That's where you want to click. So here we are on ChatGPT and you click here on try ChatGPT. Then you gotta log in or sign up. You make a free account. It's totally for free. So it's actually quite simple. You have down here this search bar or this chat bar. Here's the first thing what you can do with ChatGPT is you can use it like a search engine. So for example, I want to get some information. What date is Christmas? Christmas is celebrated on December 25th every year. So you get like basic information at what date is Christmas celebrated in Austria. And that's the thing you have to be careful with using ChatGPT because you might also get wrong information. Let's ask Google for example. What date is Christmas celebrated in Austria? That's also wrong. <laughs> so the interesting thing is also Google says the wrong answer here because Christmas in Austria is celebrated on the 24th, not the 25th. So on the 24th, which is today, is gonna be Christmas celebration all over Austria. So Google and ChatGPT both provided the wrong answer here. So you can use it as a search engine, but beware, it's not up to date and there might be some wrong information there. And you might say now, okay, wow, another search engine, but it's much more than that. Check that out, it's also a translator. What it also does is it can refer to what it has said before. So let's translate the last sentence to French. And you see, it took the last sentence from the last paragraph and it translated it to French, translate it to Hindi. And you can see it translated this sentence now to Hindi. I cannot say if this is now right or wrong. To all my Indian viewers out there, is this a right sentence or not? Let me know in the comments below. You want to say, that's not enough. What else can it do? Let's start a new chat. What it can do is it can write, for example, business letters. So for example, write a formal business letter which contains the three points. First, a new meeting proposal for January 2nd. Second, a thank you for the Christmas present. And third, a congratulation on a new job. And you see, I've also made some spelling mistakes in there. Let's see the result. Dear name, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to you to propose a new meeting for January 2nd. Please let me know if this date and time works for you and if you have any suggestions for an alternate date. I also wanted to take a moment to thank you for the thoughtful Christmas present. Your kindness is greatly appreciated. Lastly, I want to extend my congratulations to you on your new job. I'm confident that you will excel in your new role and look forward to seeing all that you will accomplish. Sincerely, your name. Isn't that amazing? It took my three points and it made a really, really good business letter out of this. Make it more words and longer. And it rewrites the same content, but with more words and longer, as you can see here. I mean, how amazing is this? It can also do the other way around. Let's make it shorter, say about four sentences. And it's shorter, even shorter. And again, it was shorter. Introduce bullet points. So it also can you help with formatting your letters. So you see, business letters is not your thing. 
What about coding? What about programming? Let's try it out. We can let it write JavaScript. So for example, provide a code in JavaScript which lets you enter a number and it adds five to this number and then shows the result. So it calculates and it didn't take one second and here is the code. So prompt the user to enter a number, convert the entered value to a number, add five to the number, display the result. Maybe you're better with Python. So what you can do now is translate this code to Python and you get the equivalent in Python code. So it translates not only between languages, but also between programming languages. So what I just did was I said simulate that you are a Python interpreter and run the code. So in the background it can also run the code somehow. Sure, here's the output you would see if you ran the code in a Python interpreter. Enter number 10, result 15. I hope this helps. Try that again with the number 25. And here is the result. So we, it can also simulate somehow running this code. Isn't that crazy and mind-blowing? Let's let it write some manuals. For example, write a manual for starting to learn writing Python code. So it gives me now a manual of how I could start if I've never tried to use Python. And it even puts now hyperlinks in there. That's new for me. So, I mean, this already blows my mind. Imagine what this means for coding. Imagine what it means for your workplace, for being a secretary, for school system, for universities. So this is really a tool which is going to change everything. By the way, the new book is out. It's called AI Tools, Your Ultimate Guide, 66 Artificial Intelligence Tools to Solve All Your Problems. Check it out. It's the new book. Link is in the bio. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna put it to the tests. You have written in a comment below to us, please can you write a tutorial on how to write an ebook with AI? Thanks. Let's find out if ChatGPT can give an answer to this question. I'm excited, what's gonna happen? Sure, here is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to write an ebook with the help of artificial intelligence. Choose a topic for ebook. It should be something that you are interested in and have some knowledge about. Research the topic thoroughly. Gather as much information as you can from various sources such as books, articles, and websites. Organize the information you have collected. Break it down into chapters and sections and create an outline for your ebook. Use an AI writing tool to help you write your ebook. There are several options available such as Articulo, Wordsmith and Quill. These tools use natural language processing to understand the context of your writing and generate content based on your inputs. It's interesting that it doesn't talk about itself. It actually talks about competing programs. That's very interesting. Edit and proofread your ebook. Even though AI writing tools can generate high quality content, it is important to review and make any necessary corrections or revisions. What would be the best topic for my ebook to make money? Here are five potential topics for an ebook that could potentially make money. Self-improvement. People are always looking for ways to improve themselves, whether it's becoming more productive, learning a new skill or overcoming a personal challenge. Health and wellness. Personal finance online business, travel, that's so awesome. Outline the chapters for an ebook on the topic of travel. Introduction to travel, definition of travel, benefits of travel, types of travel. Chapter two, planning your trip. Chapter three, exploring new cultures. Chapter four, staying safe and healthy. Chapter five, saving money on travel. Chapter six, sustainable travel. Chapter seven, making the most of your trip. What an amazing outline already. Write the intro to chapter one. Sure, here's an introduction to chapter one. As you can see, this challenge was no issue at all. It could also help you with your ebook, with writing an ebook. It provided us with the information on how to start, how to write it, where to publish it, and it even provides us with the content. Isn't that amazing? So now that we've taken a look at ChatGPT, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this crazy new AI tool? How will you use it? 
What are the use cases you are expecting to solve with this new AI tool? Did you get a grasp about the future of artificial intelligence? Now it's your turn. Go to ChatGPT, register for free and let me know in the comments how you could solve 1000 of your problems.